Okay, guys. So we heard about the we heard about the Rockstar Game Services DDoS attacks. Okay. Um, I'm actually on the side of the DDoSers this time. Rockstar deserves these DDoS attacks. Okay. They did this to themselves. They truly did this to themselves. And the reason I am saying this is because look at what they've done the last. Let's see, your GTA has been out for. 11 years, right? Somewhere around there. GTA 5 has been up for 11 years. We had a hacker had to leak a gameplay of GTA 6 in the alpha stage for Rockstar to even speak on the subject when all we wanted was some transparency just to know if it was in the works. And they wouldn't even tell us that. So, you have, and that's just, that's one small thing. Then pair on to the fact that Rockstar rewards people for griefing in a game with a model that is set up to take the most time possible when it comes to grinding. They have it set up so that it takes so unbearably long to make any progress to tempt people into buying shark cards. And it's been this way for forever and it took them, let's see here, the whole business thing that started in 2016, I believe. So... Shit, when did they change that? 2022. So for six, six, almost seven years, Rockstar just simply refused to address our issues with businesses. Six, almost seven years is how long it took them to address it. And then they finally let us do our work in private lobbies. Bravo, Rockstar. You gave us a band-aid fix. You see, some of us play online games for the person-to-person -person interaction. That doesn't change the fact that you still reward players for griefing. You still reward players for blowing up cargo. You still reward bad behavior. That does not change that fact. And let me, let me talk about the PvP, okay? I'm not one to sit here and screech about pay to win this, pay to win that, but when it comes to PvP in GTA 5 Online, it is 110% pay to win if you have a life, if you have a job, or if you even play other games. It is 100% pay to win. I am currently trying to grind out my bunker to do all my research to get explosive ammo, to get incendiaries, to get all this other cool shit. I'm simply, I'm chilling in a free mode lobby, I'm uh, sourcing cargo, I never sell in public lobbies, but I'm sourcing cargo, right, I'll source, I will not sell in public. I'm sourcing cargo, I'm doing some of the Vax missions so I can unlock the upgrades for the Acid Lab, and here comes, here comes Douchebag. He has the Raiju, you know that really OP new jet. The one that they nerfed the Hydra and the laser so that this one could be the so that this one could be meta, right? That jet? Yeah. So in comes douchebag with that jet. Blows up my sparrow. Okay, no big deal. I start kicking his ass. He realizes that he can't beat me using the same weapons I'm using. So what does he start using? Explosive pump shotgun and the explosive sniper. Mind you, I just hit rank 100 on Xbox. I don't have PS Plus, so I don't play GTA Online on my PlayStation. I play it on my Xbox because, again, as I've stated before, Game Pass is simply the better deal. So I play GTA Online on Xbox now. I play all my online stuff on Xbox. And you're telling me that I just hit level 100 and I'm dealing with some douchebag who just uses mommy daddy credit card to buy everything he wants while I'm out here trying to grind and make my money and progress, you know, the natural way, the way they want you to progress. And that's another issue, right? Is the, uh, I don't want to say the new player experience, but the, um, the, the grinding experience, right? The grinding experience is another issue with why I'm siding with the people who DDoS Rockstar Game Services. You know, there are, as, as bad as some of the modders on PC are, there are modders on PC who do money drops to people who need them, 
who give RP to people who want it, right? There's the there's good modders on PC. And if you didn't change anything by using Battle Eye, Battle Eye is one of the worst anti cheats you could use. It's worse than easy anti cheat. You guys picked a terrible anti cheat to try and scare modders, and all you did was get yourselves DDoSed. Great job. Maybe instead of sitting here and waging war against modders, which, while yes, there again, there are bad modders, obviously, but there's also good modders who are helping the community where Rockstar won't. And I understand Rockstar wants people to play the game normally, but you need to understand Rockstar. There are people who are completionists like me who don't have the time to sit here and grind for every single thing in the game. That's what Rockstar needs to understand. And on top of that, I play other games too. Like look at the look at the background gameplay here. This is Black Ops 2. This is gameplay that was recorded this year in 2024. This game is still popping. Right, it's the best Call of Duty, it's still popping. But you know, Rockstar needs to understand if they want GTA to if they want GTA's community to keep playing the game and have it live on as long as Black Ops 2 has. They need to understand that they are the issue. They are the reason GTA is struggling right now. It shouldn't take me, you know, four or five hours to fill up one business, right? It shouldn't, I shouldn't have to fight, you know, four people as a solo sorts and cargo. I shouldn't have to do that. I shouldn't have to fight off people who are three times my level with way better gear. People should be punished for griefing during missions. Like, sure, here's how they could rework it even. Because we know Rockstar wants to incentivize, uh, incentivize shark card sales. Here's how they could rework it. Keep it how it is with the whole rewarding people thing, but give them bad sport points for it. So that if they are just a serial douchebag, they will eventually get put in a bad sport lobby. That's a very easy, a very simple solution for that issue. And Rockstar can do it. They can. They just won't. You know, there's no point in having a report for griefing option in the pause menu, which, yes, that's something you can report somebody for. There's no point in having a report for griefing option when you encourage it. <laughs> <laughs> So, again, Rockstar is being, they are deliberately being disingenuous with how they do this whole thing. It's, it's horrible. They need to, uh, they need to fix the game. I don't understand why we are, I don't understand why it's 2024, and I still have to play this game like it's a job in order to be able to afford, like, anything. Like the cop cars and stuff, they're cool, they're awesome. I want a couple of them, but I can't get any of them because I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money because I don't have time to grind all that. It's just, it's wild. It's wild. So, I'm on the side of the... I'm on the side of the officers and the modders in this one. Normally I'm against the side of the cyber criminals and uh, the modders and stuff. Normally I'm against them. But, I'm siding with them for this one. So, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that, uh, do you think they're overreacting? Or do you think this is justified considering Rockstar's track record? Let me know in the comment section. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.